I was gonna explain the time of second incubation, but give me a moment to explain mushrooms that is important in first incubation. One of the mushrooms called Bulgaria inquinans will appear in about a month after starting first incubation. The brown round ones come out on the surface of the logs. It's called rubber mushroom in Japanese. It often appears on the thin skin like Quercus serrata. This is a mushroom that grows naturally even though no spawn is inoculated. But there is no particular harm to shiitake spawn. It is also an important waterman indicator. The growth of Brogario inquinans means that there is moisture inside of the log. Moreover, the size of the mushroom changes depending on the waterman. If it's small, the waterman is small as well, and vice versa. If it's small, it should be keeping moisturized. If it's large on the other hand, it should be slight dried. It's very useful indicator, right? However, it is also a mushroom. It doesn't grow in places where there are no spawn. So don't worry about it when you meet the situation like No Bulgarian Quinans grow on this log. Is this log dried out? Another indicator, Libertella, is even more useful in such cases. This orange thing, winding fungus, actually grows on dry logs. It seems that it likes Quercus actisma. Now you know what this means. When Bulgaria inquinans grow, the log has moisture in it. And when Libertellas grow, it's dry. Natural life's amazing. It's really great. But it has one more disadvantage other than it doesn't grow where there are no spawn. Actually, both of them may grow in the same place. <laughs> hey, which one should I trust? If that happens, you have to believe your hunch. This also varies depending on the person and place. But we'll move on the second incubation from the middle of May to the middle of June. We also use the size and color of mycelium that appears on the log ends. The amount of harmful fungi can be a good indicator. 